All right, everyone, big news in this video. Probably can't see it, but we got eggs. What's up? As promised, we got some eggs. I already flipped her around, so it's easier for me to get her. Might be weird, but she's not going to be happy about it. She's already... She's hissing. She's probably going to try to bite the paper towels. skinny now, but that's okay. Alright, I'm gonna let her go over there. I'll gently take them out. Wow, that's nice. We're gonna give her a bath, brand new substrate, clean it with Dawn, get all that scent out. But let's count how many we got. Uh, all right, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eggs, man. Let me see the last time she laid. Uh, I think it was May of last year. So that's awesome. You see our humidity is really good, over a hundred percent. So I'm gonna put the I'm not gonna separate these eggs. We're just gonna leave them like this. We're just gonna try something different. A lot of people separate them, but we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna give it a little experiment and see what happens. If you're wondering how we do it, we use hatch right. Last year we used vermiculite and it was shitty. It sucked. We had mold and just it sucked. So we went with Hatchrite. It's really not ex that expensive. It's about the same as the vermiculite from the Home Depot. Get you a tub. Make sure it has locking lids. Fill it up about, I mean, you can't have too much. You know, you just don't want your eggs touching the top of the lid. But the more you have, the merrier. Because you want as much humidity as you can get. You want over 100. I mean, you want it packed in there with humidity. And you drill a little hole right here. Just a little hole. And put your lid on it. And that's it. That's the only hole. And you should be good. You shouldn't have to check on them the whole time. You should just go in there about 55, 60 days and look in there and see some little pips coming out. So... I will tell you if you're using any kind of medium for your ball python eggs or any kind of eggs, reptile eggs for that matter, that need humidity, high amounts of humidity, you do need some kind of way of checking the humidity. Whether it be a hydrometer, a little gauge, any way to check humidity. And if your humidity starts to get lower than like 90, then you need to add some water. We don't use tap water. I guess you could if you want, but I'm just trying to be as careful as I can to not get any kind of bacteria or any kind of chemicals in there from bleach from the water, fluoride or whatever. So we use bottled water from the grocery store. And don't let the eggs get wet. If you see drippage from the top of the lid on the eggs, you need to wipe off gently with paper towel and try to alleviate the problem. You can put press and seal over it, then put the lid on it. There's different ways to do it. You can look it up. I'm not going to tell you how to do it because I don't do that. I just check it, and if it needs it, a wipe, I wipe it. But with the hatch right, you should be good. Whoa, I cannot believe we got eight eggs from her, dude. So, I got them in the incubator right now. We're gonna incubate ours at 88 degrees. And that's 
most likely gonna hatch around 50, 55, 60 days. Hopefully 55. Um, I just put this thermostat in there about 10 minutes ago. It's reading 87. And then I got this little, you know, it's not the best thing in the world, but it's a Thrive thermostat, just extra, extra security. So I know that the area is what I'm working with with temperature because you don't want it to be too hot and you don't want it to be too cold. It sucks. You gotta find that happy medium. So it's 90 right there, which isn't bad. And then you got 89.7 right here and the thermostat, see it says zero power, so it's going down and it's gonna regulate at around 88, 88.9, somewhere around there. But I can't stress, if you're gonna breed and you're gonna have an incubator and you're gonna do all this, spend the money, buy as many heat strips as you have to have, they're all in there to get it hot enough and buy a good thermostat for everything. It's the best. Okay, so she she shed at 219.23. I do the green. That's their prelay sheds. You see, they they all got them, and then they got little little smiley faces. <laughs> so hopefully, you know they'll get some eggs too. But you know, so she laid today. So let's see, that's 31 days since her prelay shed that she laid eight eggs that's awesome and I'm sure all y'all see this this word right here you might not like it but there is nothing wrong with her she is an amazing snake she has no neurological issues I'm gonna show y'all the process of these eggs hatching and I want y'all to follow along I want to try to kind of prove a stigma about spiders that it's kind of it's misleading to people all right so she laid her prelay shed 219.23 and then she laid her eggs today the 22nd of march so it's about 30 31 days that's that's awesome so yeah we use the green that's our prelay shed indicator and you know, they got ones we're really excited for. We have the smileys. All right, and this one should be the next one to go. And you can see she's blushing. She's usually way brighter than this. She's got that pregnant girl glow. But she's gonna be our next one, I'm sure. My my bet would be on her to be the next one to lay eggs. And this is her first time breeding. So, I mean, she's huge. I mean, she's so sweet. But she is full. I'm saying about 10 eggs. So, we'll see. Keep an eye out for her. And while we're doing it, I tried to give away, you know, one of the babies for the other one in a short. So let's just throw this in here. All right, so this one laid her eggs 30, 31 days from this date. Okay? So this one is our Spectre Ball Python. And she had her prelay shed 3, 2, 23. So if you want to comment your guess on when she's going to be laying eggs, if you guess the date, I'll give you one of her babies. How about that? All right, I'm about to end this video. I just want to say thanks to everybody that has subscribed so far. If you know a friend, even if they don't like snakes, tell them to subscribe. And if you comment, then as soon as we hit 500 subscribers, we're giving away a free snake. I tried to give away one of these babies, but no one commented. So I guess... You'll just have to try another giveaway. We're going to have so many different giveaways coming up in the next few months. It's going to be crazy. We're going to do raffles, all different kinds of cool stuff to get you a snake. You know, a cool looking animal. So, again, thank y'all.